Hey, welcome to my tutorial on uh, React and Google Cloud Platform, or uh, just uh, Google Google Cloud Hosting. Um, so, what I'm going to be talking about really quick in as short of a time as possible is how to uh, register a domain with Google, um, sign up for uh, a cloud hosting service, and um, be able to create an app using React. So. Uh, what I have here is something that I was managed to whip up using the template uh, and uh, the full codes available on github um, if you're interested I'll put the link in the description alright so to get started um, the first step that you're going to want to do is to uh, download the cloud SDK um, uh, just go to uh, the URL here cloud.google.com and then grab your uh, your MSI installer if your Windows or whatever you're using for your operating system. Um, this is going to be necessary to be able to run uh, some of the commands we're going to use. So uh, you're going to want to grab that and then you're going to want to uh, add the uh, path of the install. So uh, for Windows users you're going to want to go to your Google Cloud SDK um, install location. Um, I believe I can't remember exactly what the default cloud install location is, um, but just make sure you pay attention to that uh, so you can add it to path. So to do that, you just go to computer properties, um, advanced system settings, environment variables, scroll down here to path, and click edit and go to the very end and add in the uh, the Google Cloud path so scrolling over it the default install location is C users username app data local Google Cloud SDK so let me just get that real quick for you so that would be right here if you need it. Alright, so anyway, uh, once you have the SDK installed, you're going to want to download Node.js. Um, just go to https node.js.org. I'll throw that in the description as well. Uh, choose your installer. Make sure you know what bit operating system you're using. Uh, it's, if you want to be safe, you can use the 32, although if you know you're 64, use 64 probably a little bit faster. Um, and then uh, once you're done installing Node.js, you're going to want to add Node.js to the path. So you're going to need to go to environment variables once again, scroll down to path, and at the very end you're going to want uh, to add this in here. Let's say just grab it. So uh, mine installed here. Um, just make sure that you just take the, go to the very end of whatever your path is here if you haven't already had Node.js installed and then just semicolon and paste that in. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to break anything. Alright, so once you're done with that, you've gotten um, the Google Cloud SDK, Node.js, then you're able to, uh, and you, add, you added both those to the path, then you're able to uh, go to the next step which is to create Re React app. So the first thing you want to do is go to your command prompt. You're going to want to run it as admin. And you're going to cd into whatever your working repo is if you need to. Um, it just makes it a little easier. Uh, and then you're uh, going to just quickly run the, uh, the npm install command, which is this here. Create React app. So you type that in, hit enter. It'll install globally, so everywhere in your computer, it doesn't matter what your directory is, it'll just uh, allow you to run the actual next command that you need to create the app. Um, so what I did was I made a workspace folder. You want to do that if you can. So just quick, make a, a little folder that you can run this command into, you hit paste, 
and this will create a new React app in your uh, directory. So wait for it to finish and then open your Windows Explorer and go into your your workspace. Again, you don't need to use the same file paths as me. I recommend using um, just root or C uh, and workspace. I'm just doing this for the, the tutorial. And once that's finished executing, you're going to need to get started on creating an account with Google Cloud. So let me just open this Google Cloud, type Google Cloud in the browser. Um, I think it's this one. Go here. Yeah. So click try it free. Uh, sorry, one second. And then you can sign in with Google. Uh, I don't really want to go through the rest of this stuff because I'm already registered, of course. Um, but sign in with Google uh, and then um, once you have an account with them, you're gonna go you're gonna have some sort of page that looks like this. So the Google Cloud platform. Um, what you're gonna want to do is uh, go to storage when you get to the screen and you've signed up and then you're going to go into your browser and then um, you're going to uh, need to create a domain name first so before you do anything else in here um, if you know what your domain name is going to be then you can create the bucket but otherwise go to google domains um, it looks like this I type bananas hit enter and then in bananas you can see which ones available they have prices for you right here uh, apparently you can get hydrogen monoxide if you want that domain and then you add it to cart and then you proceed to checkout and ask for your billing info so I'm not going to do any of that um, but you get the idea so once you get a domain you're going to need to uh, check your email, accept all the junk that comes with it, um, and uh, once you have your your um, your uh, what is it called, your domain here, um, if you head to this um, this location in my domains in your Google account, you should have a list of your domains. Um, you're going to need to go to, con to configure DNS, so click that and you're going to need to set up a C name. Um, a C name is going to take two parameters. Uh, one is the C storage Google APIs and the other is the uh, subdomain that you're going to use. So I have a few here because I was testing and just guessing so just kind of ignore that. But uh, www is fine, just use www in this field and then type this in this field and then hit add um, and then that way you have registered a subdomain for your um, uh, your your uh, domain name. And once you're done with that, then you can head back over to the bucket, like I was saying before. Um, and then you're going to do create bucket. Type your your bucket name here. It's going to be the full path of your domain. So if you did bananas, it'd be bananas and then .com and then just do multi-regional and hit create and create the bucket. So once you're done creating the bucket um, you're going to want to go into it and um, oh, I'm sorry there's one thing I missed uh, so what you want to do is actually click these triple dots here you have two things one is going to enable website configuration and you're going to type index HTML here and you're going to hit save and then the second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to edit the default storage class. Uh, sorry, not the edit, edit default. I did that twice now. Um, you're going to want to go into edit bucket permissions. So edit bucket permissions, add members. You're going to want to type all users here. And you're going to select a role. And it's going to be I believe, storage and storage object viewer. 
all right and then you're gonna hit add okay so the reason we did that uh, was to well I guess to tie everything together the reason you made a C name is so you can actually link your uh, Google domain name that you registered here um, with your subdomain and where you're serving it from so this is just basically saying uh, grab um, from www or for www.yoursite.com bananas.com you're going to grab the the static pages the the web pages from the uh, Google storage API this this is a like a, a placeholder for the actual IP address so um, uh, whatever we put in this bucket is going to be served uh, for uh, yes to be served for this URL okay so now um, we covered everything up until your npm build so I believe there's a few other steps um, let's see let's see if this works so let's just do npm start actually let's just do npm build no, 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 no. Let me close. Let me just close something here. Um, I need to close the thing that's running so it doesn't conflict on the port. So if I do npm start, yes. Um, there is one thing that we needed to do. This is related to npm not being able to find a file. Complete log. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Because. I created the app with this open. It doesn't know about this package.json file. So hold on here. So open your command prompt again. Uh, this is horrible. Uh, paste this here. CD in to your repo or your uh, local location. Uh, and I think an example app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, maybe I did this wrong. Um, maybe I wasn't in this actual location. But do npm start, and it should start your website. Yeah. So then you should see something like this. And once you see this, then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and build it. And you're going to Control C to kill your server, your Node.js server. So if you refresh the page, it will die and or not be there because that was serving. So if you want to start your app, just do npm start. And then what you want to do is you're going to do an npm build. So if you look in your, your repo, wherever that is, uh, you should see, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, no build folder. But when you do npm build, uh, oh, sorry, npm run build, uh, it will build your everything you need to, for your your uh, your site here. So then, what you want to do is go in here, your build folder. So this is the file that was the folder that was generated. Now we have this build folder from running npm run build. Then you want to go in here and you want to grab all these folders and all these assets, and you're going to go back to your Google stuff, your Google server. Uh, I'm just going to use, I don't know, this one, I guess. Uh, let me just select all and delete all out of here. Blah. And you're going to paste them all in here. And once it's all in there, you should have your index.html. Uh, so I'm going to use this URL so you can just copy paste right from here and see if it actually is working um, so if you see something like this it's because we did the steps out of order you're going to need to um, or you didn't do this this part that I mentioned earlier you're going to need to click these triple dots you're going to edit bucket permissions and you're going to type all users and you're going to uh, go to storage and storage object viewer and then hit add so then down here you should see all users
so that's just basically giving people permission, um, anyone permission to come see your site. Uh, so if I hit refresh on this, I should see React app. All right, and that's it. So you're done. Um, you can start doing whatever you want with this, uh, with React, um, and uh, have fun. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it, that should be that should be good. Uh, if there's any questions, uh, just type in the comments. Um, otherwise, I will provide everything, the links that I use, and everything in the description. So thanks for watching.